So when we want to select objects in Adobe Photoshop, what we normally do is resort to tools such as the quick selection tool, perhaps the pen tool, if we actually want to trace around our object and then create a selection from there, or even very drastically, we might actually use the polygonal lasso tool, which is going to take a long, long time. But there is actually a much quicker and improved way to select objects in Adobe Photoshop, and that's by using the object selection tool, which is what we're going to be covering in this video. Okay, great. So let's jump right in and actually find the object selection tool in Adobe Photoshop. So if you're unaware of where the object tool is, it's on the left hand toolbar and it's actually paired with the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. You should automatically be able to see the object selection tool first, but if not, just hold on that and it should be the top option. The shortcut to all of these tools is the letter W on your keyboard and that's both for Windows and Mac. So what we're going to try and do is turn this green apple into a blue apple. But first, how does the object selection tool actually work? Well, what we need to do is select a mode for the object selection tool so that we can actually tell Photoshop how we want to find our object in our image. So I'm going to quickly leave it on rectangle, but we also have the lasso option available, which allows you to freeform your selection. So just selecting the rectangle, all we need to do is actually draw a box around our object. So for example, I want to select the apple, so I'm going to draw a selection around that object then Photoshop's going to analyze that area that we've drawn and try and find an object within it. And now we have a selection around our apple. Now, the only difference between the rectangle and the lasso option is if I quickly undo that and select lasso, all I have to do here is actually hold my mouse down and draw around my object instead. And as you can see, this will now create a selection of our apple. Although interestingly, the results are different between the two. And this is probably because it's just had a different set of data to analyze. So I'm going to quickly undo that by pressing command and Z, and then going back up to the lasso and selecting rectangle once again. So this is how we can manually select objects in Adobe Photoshop. But there is also a way in which Photoshop can already do this for you. And this is called the object finder. So you'll notice on the top here, we have an option which is called object finder. If I just take that, we have a few new icons that appear. So essentially what the object finder is, is Photoshop's going to pre-analyze our image. So without us having to manually select an area, and it's going to try and find as many objects within it. And every time it's trying to find these objects, you'll notice that the refresh icon here is spinning. If it doesn't, all you have to do is press on it once. And as you can see, Photoshop will analyze the image once again and try and find the objects within it. So in order to actually find what objects Photoshop has found in our image, all we have to do is actually move our cursor over our composition until a blue shape appears around our object. So as you can see, Photoshop has once again found the apple within our image. If you have an image with multiple objects, what you can actually do is see all of them at once by pressing this second icon right here. And this will just highlight all of the objects in your scene. I've obviously only got the apple in this one. If you want to be able to change the color and customize this a bit further, as you can see, you can change those options here. So for example, I can change it to magenta. And then once again, what I'd need to do is actually hover over our object in order to see that. Now, in order to actually make a selection from the object finder, all we have to do is hover over the object itself and press once using our left mouse button. As you can see, it's now created a selection around our object. If we want to remove a selection from our object, so for example, let's say we have multiple objects selected, all we have to do is go to the top here and actually select this third option along. And as you can see, when I now move over the object, I'm going to deselect that option. If you have multiple options that you want to select and you want to add to your selection, you can use this second option here. But because I've only got one in this case, it won't actually work. So I'm going to quickly return to this first option and select our object once again. Now, one thing to note about the object selection tool is the selection itself won't be perfect. So for example, if I zoom into the bottom of my image right here, you'll notice that the selection here isn't quite perfect and it doesn't quite follow the apple itself. And you can always use select and mask, which is this option at the top here in order to refine your selection. So let's try and actually create this blue apple. So the first thing we're going to have to do is actually remove the stalk from this object, because obviously we only want the green body of the apple to change color. So I'm gonna select the subtract from selection option that we had earlier. And then I'm going to draw a small selection around that object. So as you can see, the object selection tool has identified that area as an object and it's removed most of it from our selection. But if I quickly zoom in, as you can see, it won't be 100% perfect. So right here on the edges, as you can see, it hasn't quite removed all of the selections. So what I'm going to do is actually quickly switch to the polygonal lasso tool. 
and actually hold Option or Alt for Windows on my keyboard in order to actually subtract from our selection and then quickly cut off this top part here so we can actually remove those selections from our full selection. And then I'm going to press Command and Zero in order to zoom all the way out of my image. So with the body of our apple selected, we can create an adjustment layer at the bottom of the layers panel. And let's use the hue and saturation adjustment layer. And that selection has actually automatically been applied as a mask to that adjustment layer. And then all we have to do is change the hue in order to make our apple a different color. So as you can see, I can change it to any color across the spectrum. So we wanted a blue color. I'm gonna move it all the way to the blue end. And as you can see, we've now turned our apple blue. So there are probably still a few issues around the masking around our apple. But as you can see, just by using a combination of the object selection tool, which allowed us to quickly select our object, the polygonal lasso tool in order just to quickly clean up part of that selection. And then by using a layer mask on the hue and saturation adjustment layer, we've been able to turn our apple blue. So if you enjoyed that video, you might also be interested in learning how to use the burn tool in Adobe Photoshop. So do check out that video. It's on the right of the end screen. And otherwise, do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and do subscribe to make sure you never miss a new Photoshop tutorial.